Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. On this episode we're going to be looking at smart meters and the risks of installing them. This has been triggered by a little note I got through the door asking if I wanted a smart meter. First off we're going to look at what is a smart meter and how they work and then we're going to look at all the associated risks and why I think it's a really bad idea. Smart meters measure how much gas and electricity you use. They're the newer, smarter upgrade currently replacing regular gas and electricity meters up and down the country. And the government has asked energy companies to make every effort to offer them in all homes by 2020. Smart meters measure your energy use 24-7 and send this data wirelessly straight to your supplier. This means you should no longer need to take a manual reading and can say goodbye to estimated bills. When you have a smart meter installed, you get one for gas, another for electricity and a separate display called an in-home display or IHD. These devices connect up and the smart meter sends across your usage data to the IHD so you can see how much energy you are using in real time as well as how much it costs. For example, if you boil a kettle, you'll instantly see your usage rocket up. You won't be charged for having a smart meter installed, but the cost of rolling them out to all homes will be added to everyone's bill. Plus, it could save you more money by encouraging you to use energy more efficiently. Millions of smart meters have already been installed in Great Britain. My main problem with smart meters, they largely provide a solution to a problem which doesn't exist. Occasionally your energy supplier will visit your property to read the meter or they'll send you an estimated bill based on previous readings. Um, this bill usually comes quarterly, every three months. Um, they'll send you an itemised bill which breaks down your energy consumption uh, by your usage, your tariff and it'll give you an estimated cost. But I can't understand the logic of how a smart meter would help you save money because presumably everything you have switched on and everything which is in use you're already aware of because you put it in use. For such as your TV is on, your kettle is on, your heating is on. Um, so I can't really understand that logic. My main concern is the fact the government is so extremely keen to have these installed, even using legally enforced targets on energy suppliers to pressure customers to adopt them. Uh, so the main and apparently only benefit is to save money and save energy. But why does the government want us to save money? You know, this is the same government that has increased VAT from 17.5% to 20%. The same government that's placed sugar tax on soft drinks. Alcohol tax if you live in Scotland and Wales. Um, the same government currently considering tax on online purchases and online deliveries. So why are they so concerned about us saving money? It's a bit strange. Okay, let's start looking at some of the risks. The first and most obvious risk is privacy. Smart meters are a risk to your privacy. They will be sharing by default all your energy use, which can easily be used to identify certain attributes about your life, such as whether you're in the house, whether you've gone to work, whether you're out for whatever reason. Profiling the data can reveal um, whether you're on holiday, um, how many occupants are in the house, it can also be used to determine um, the activity you're undertaking, such as if you've got the washing machine running, if you're using the television or the PC, or even if you're charging your electric car. All this information uh, will be stored by your provider um, and probably shared with third parties, probably the police, intelligence services, and anyone else connected to the energy provider. Additionally, the wireless network Transmitting the, the data from the meter um, could potentially be used to transmit other data, um, other information, uh, and can potentially be maliciously used for other purposes. The second risk um, smart meters present is the provide the ability of your energy provider to take control of your supply. This enables them to cut off your supply, reduce your supply or otherwise restrict it. At the moment if your energy supplier wants to cut your supply they physically have to visit your property which in 
occurs a cost uh, is labor intensive and there's a certain amount of planning goes into that um, but smart meters virtually make this automatic um, and fairly easy um, so make sure you pay your bill on time because you could get instantly cut off if you're late the third risk is the technology itself the technology currently used in smart meters is not very good it's effectively first generation kit um, so there's gonna be a lot of improvements and if you look at iPhones <laughs> that'll give you a rough idea where it is and where it's gonna be in the future the functionality is basic they do not give you breakdowns of end use by device such as kettle or TV or category such as whether you're spending energy on heating or entertainment currently if you switch energy providers the smart meters will stop working and you'll have to have a new um, smart meter installed be a new energy provider which obviously isn't ideal the fourth risk is security the security of the devices themselves and how they operate is questionable they're probably not up to the required standard the Internet of Things and the security recommendations on what that should look like is currently in a consultation period with industry experts, but these devices are already out there, so they won't be subject to that. Any discovered vulnerabilities cannot be fixed remotely. The only way to fix a vulnerability is to physically come to the property and fix it or install a new device. The devices work by transmitting one-way traffic from the device to the energy supplier so they cannot push any updates to the device themselves which is good and bad a system breach at the energy company may result in the attacker remotely turning off your energy supply potentially or they could steal your profile data which would be incredibly valuable to criminals for instance they would know when you're not likely to be in so they could come and ransack your house potentially the fifth risk is health smart meters emit radiation during the transmission of the data from your house to your energy supplier there's currently a debate going on about whether this is harmful to people or not but regardless why take an unnecessary risk if you suffer from anxiety uh, and do not have much disposable income having a device constantly reminding you of how much energy you're using and how much it's costing you probably is not the good thing um, it's a bit like the Apple watch in regards to telling you when you're about to have a heart attack not really uh, ideal uh, likewise constantly being reminded of energy costs may affect your activities it may dictate what you do and when you do it um, do you really want to be told when or influenced when you can use your computer or when it's best to watch TV okay the final risk is costs this is perhaps counterproductive to the argument that smart meters will save you money. The wide um, adoption and installation of smart meters um, throughout the UK and Europe will increase the bills or on the end consumers as the companies um, will recuperate the costs by distributing that through the bills. So in the short term, bills will likely rise. Um, the technology enables surge pricing um, so this potentially will come in the future as companies uh, look to earn more money from their services uh, do you really want to be spending more money because you're boiling your kettle at a particular time or using a device at uh, on a particular day uh, for instance uh, perhaps you could, could be charged more if you boil your kettle at five o'clock when everyone's just returning home from work the other risk, it also enables the government to push climate policies um, or initiatives directly to the public. For example, placing quotas on the amount of energy uh, a single house can use. Or perhaps placing additional tax on energy used to charge electric cars or energy used for inefficient devices. Okay, so now you're aware of some of the risks. So what is the solution? The solution is... In the short term, to refuse to comply, do not in have one installed. They are still legally optional for the end consumer. The energy companies are obligated by law to push them onto consumers, 
but you're not obligated to have one. Just ignore any tactics to have you install one. They will continue to email you, send you letters, etc. Just ignore them. Eventually, the government will likely make these mandatory. I can see that coming. In which case, we'll have no choice but to comply. But we can still um, mitigate the risks, so what, by generating our own electric from solar panels, wind turbines, and there will always be a way, way around it and a way to minimise the impact. Okay, that is the end of the video for today. In the description of the video, I'm going to be putting relevant links to some um, articles about smart meters and everything I've discussed here. Um, I hope you found the video useful. If so, please consider subscribing. The more subscribers I get, the more frequently I'm going to be uploading new content. Every week, I'm going to be bringing new videos, um, relevant uh, and interesting topics that may be of interest to you. Um, hope to see you soon. Thanks.